Uh, I've got a few parts for the um, turbo engine engine today and um, on Sunday I welded up the frame so this is what I've sort of come up with for the overall layout so um, from the wreckers I got these two fuel pumps one's 45 psi this one's 65 psi um, and that'll be powered by this battery which will be located in the middle I also got this coolant reservoir two inbuilt pumps because uh, this uh, turbo has water cooling that'll run that through this radiator which will have this fan on it I've also got this oil radiator and I'll have uh, not sure about the placement on this battery but if this is a bit further back I'll have fuel reserve and then water reserve I mean sorry um, oil reserve um, and I'll run the oil up straight up to the, uh, the archer. I'll run it through from the pump outlet through the radiator to the jet engine. Hopefully the radiator can handle the pressure. I'd say it could. Otherwise, I'll run it on the gravity feed, which will be a bit of a pain, really. Um, I'll think about that one anyway. Yeah, so that'll be the oil and the cooling. Um... As for this, this will be my one of the reservoirs, hopefully. Got it off the dune buggy when I had the header tank on it for the old motor. Had to run that, but um, that'll make something have some use anyway. Uh, I also got this fire extinguisher for free, which I'm hoping I'll be able to use as the adder on the combustion chamber. Steel, uh, two mil wall. Probably, I don't know, hardened steel, I'd say. Not sure what they use on those fire extinguishers. Um, yeah, so I did my calculations on the 47mm inducer. Um, and I'm not sure, like, this is what I calculated, but um, they reckon that's... See that line there? That's 35 centimetres to there, and it's 15 centimetres wide. I'm not sure if that's right, but it looks pretty big for the size of the turbo, really. That's well, a fairly decent size, so uh, I would have thought it was more just this red part here type thing, but no, it's adding this extra bit here. But, um, yeah, well, that's what the calculator said, so I guess I can't argue with that. But yeah, it's got a nice taper in it, and it's also got this screw hole here, which I'll bore out to spit the spark plug. Um, and it'll be quite a nice. Uh, unit for the combustion chamber and that'll sort of sit the turbo will sit up here facing out that way so the air intake this way um, with the combustion chamber coming up the side here like this, I'm not 100% sure on this layout but I've tried to keep the hot stuff away from the cool stuff so um, with the combustion chamber up here I think I'll have to move this one possibly over to this side where it's a bit cooler or even because this will have a bit of a um, a wooden or metal bench over it with all your dials and everything so I might be able to place that underneath even but I'm not 100% sure so yeah no it's all going very well um, hopefully start to put it together this weekend and start wiring that combustion chamber up which will be good I'm looking forward to seeing it going anyway yeah right, see you later